favorite thing about squirrel hunting? Mm. Um, seeing the squirrels and shooting them. What's going on friends? So today we're gonna to show you a quick recipe, what we like to make with the squirrels that we took. If you didn't get to see it, the last video we took eight kids squirrel hunting. Check it out, it's a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, you did better than Waylon did. She did better than Waylon did. Uh, if you haven't taken your kids or a kid hunting, uh, squirrel hunting in particular, you're missing out. It's a lot of fun, it's good times to have in in the woods if you haven't got to see the video go one video before this and check it out real quick we're just going to start this video out show you a quick way of how we clean a squirrel leaving the tail on so you can identify the species and then what we do when we get them home make some squirrel dumplings out of them it's a cheap easy meal to make perfect for bad weather days out in the woods whenever hope you guys enjoy it also if you haven't been to the website check out some of the new shirts we got the shirts on there we got elk season starting in two days um, except it might not look like this. It might be all white. Pretty bad storm moving into Arizona, so everyone stay safe and good luck, and hopefully everyone kills an elk. Until then, hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you. This is just how we do it. Every time we uh, kill a squirrel, we clean them right away. We leave the tail on there connected so you can identify what kind of squirrel it is. Clean a squirrel, we just ring around each feet. I don't want to mess up the blade, or I don't have anything to break the bone. Even though it's easy to break, I just ring it around real quick, ring around the tail and peel it off. Just do a little incision on the middle of the back, perpendicular to the body. And put two fingers in there. <clears throat> Help each leg through. <clears throat> Tail pulls through. Front legs. And then Trevor, stand up. Grab the tail. Take the head off, and then I'll grab it by the front feet. Run up its belly. Split its ribs. Start with the heart and lungs on top, and it all peels out. We do that after each one. Skin comes off really easy. They're really clean. We shoot for the head. And uh, we got a whole squirrel. Go find another one, huh, Tate? Wait, I'm gonna spy this Isn't one. It? She actually did want to now. Oh, she does. Yes, she wants to. Want to what? Shoot a squirrel. All right, so starting out, you're gonna have to cook these squirrels for about three and a half to four hours. Um, I'm gonna be cut, cooking about five squirrels right now. They're cut up into um, five pieces, cut the quarters off and then left the ribs in the back all together. But first off, I got a pot going with uh, eight cups of chicken broth. And then once all the squirrel is in there, I fill it up the rest with water to where all the squirrel is covered in liquid and then put a lid on that. And I set a timer for three and a half hours on a medium heat, trying to just keep them at a simmer, not, not necessarily a boil, but just a steady simmer. Washed up some vegetables and just diced them up into little pieces, stew sized pieces. Once the meat was done in about three and a half hours, it came off the bone really easy. You really gotta watch out for some of the bones, they're really little. So I just picked through with a fork and shredded all the meat off all the bones. Put the meat in a big bowl, threw a little salt and pepper on it. Once I got the meat shredded, I'm gonna make the batter for the dumplings so it can rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Cleaned the pot out that the squirrels were in, threw two tablespoons of butter in it. Got the butter melted and then threw the vegetables in there. And I'm just gonna cook these vegetables, stir them occasionally. The remaining 
eight cups of chicken broth as well as one teaspoon of rosemary. I'm gonna get that cooking to where the carrots are soft to when you stick them with a fork to where they're soft. And then I'm gonna throw the squirrel meat in there and mix it up. Once the meat's in there and mixed up, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt as well as a half a cup of milk. Get that just shy of boiling. Um, I have a bowl of Bisquick sitting next there. I'll, I'll put my hands in there and get some Bisquick on my hands. Makes handling the dough a little easier. And golf, golf ball size pieces of dough and drop them in. Sprinkle some parsley over the top of it. Put the lid on it for 15 minutes. And then after the 15 minutes, we pulled the lid off and let the last 10 minutes cook. And then uh, that is it. Squirrel and dumplings. It's like fluffy, but don't eat a lot.